You Jewish boys are far from home. Yes, as a matter of fact, we are. Shalom to you, too. Here's our traditional Jewish greeting for you. Don't lift a finger. That was a warning. Try it again and see what happens. Quiet, Big James. Shalom to you, too. You filthy dogs! I said quiet. Let us do something. And what would that achieve? Defending your honor. They reviled and humiliated you. They deserve to have bolts of lightning rain down and incinerate them. Yes, fire from the heavens. Fire? You said we could do things like that. Say the word and it will happen. Why not? We knew we couldn't trust these people. We shouldn't have come here in the first place. They don't deserve you. Why do you think I had you work, Melek's field? What was I trying to teach you? It was to show you that what we're doing here will last for generations. It's sowing seeds that will have a lasting impact for lifetimes. Can you not see what's happening here? These people that you hate so much are believing in me without even seeing miracles. It's the message, the truth that we're giving them. And you're going to get in the way of that because a few people from a region you don't like were mean to you. That they're not worthy? What, you're so much better? You're more worthy? Well, let me tell you something. You're not. That's the whole point. It's why I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rabbi. As we gather others, I need you to help show the way to be humble. We will. You wanted to use the power of God to bring down fire, to burn these people up? Well, it sounds a lot worse when you say it that way. You too. You're like a storm on the sea. Come on. Thunder exploding out of your chests at every turn. <laughs> In fact, that's what I'm going to call you from now on. James and John, the sons of thunder. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Today, it was not good, but strong passion can be a good thing when channeled for righteousness.